All right, guys, so I'm going to be talking about blue hypnia. And this particular <laughs> macroalgae um, gave me a lot of trouble at first. Um, you see how nice and purple, bluish this thing is. Sorry, that's my um, molly in my salt tank. It was born in salt water, and it's doing great. But uh, when I first got this macroalgae, there was really no information on it, how to, what light, what flow anything it was just kind of like a blur kind of like my video because i'm using my phone sorry guys but <laughs> yeah so the success rate i've had with this is i attach it to a rock or the sand bed or it's kind of pretty much low and th at this point i'm using t5s because i'm using 65k purple plus and a blue plus to give it that shazam color right now even the the density of it is very hard and and nice it's not mushy and falling apart like it used to when i didn't know what i was doing because i think using like a blue and a purple it gives it that nice color and also i don't really have a lot of phosphates in this tank i don't really have a lot of nitrites in this tank um it's pretty much corals in here just like little frags and really those two little fishes that you saw the two little mollies wow what a, you know it's not really much in there i don't have too much flow in there i have a little baby little <laughs> flow and i have my marine land bio whale just to um let the flow up top so there's really not much flow to this um i know there's a lot of amplipods like living in there so actually it's cleaning it in and out so i don't really have to worry about it too much the only thing i really dose in this tank i don't really do too many water changes with this because it's not too much i have like ultimate flow and not ultimate flow ultimate filtration i have another 30 um gallon filter in there just in case and then i do put um what's it called ay 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 um let me look at the name sorry guys i do put activated carbon in there every once in a while um i do use bright whales uh trace element and i use the fusion uh Fusion 1 and Fusion 2 every once in a while. You'll kind of see me use the Camp Marine Lugal solution, but I don't use too much of that because I do believe that this does need iodine a bit, but Lugal's one drop of it, boom. Since I don't do too many water changes, um, I do do a, at least like every two weeks I take out like two gallons <laughs> or, so, or so, if that, just to... Um, bring out some elements but they're for the corals maybe like the little frags but since i'm dosing also that it's not much to it but to do it right so that's my my piece on there and i'm also selling a lot of this too i have it in another um tank too so look look me up at uh starwind aquariums on ebay follow us on twitter um starwind aquariums and um look us up and I can make more videos of how this stuff is done. I'm going to really start. This is my first video of like all the macroalgies because there's a lot of no information on the Internet about a lot of species. Uh, a guy asked me about like how to, you know, how to put this in there. Should I put the sand bed this? And I've let, made a lot of mistakes and I've killed a lot of things and tried different lights led t5s all that i don't want people to suffer like i did and wasted so much money so i'm just gonna make videos so hopefully you guys too can put your input um and see what's best for you and that'll be lovely sorry about the shaving bush piece in there that's how like thick it's gotten like if i try to pull this little green part up like right here it's not coming out it's just I, I might just tear the whole plant but it's very dense and hard and it's sturdy so yeah starwind aquariums out